Hey guys, what's going on? This is Travis B11. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. And today we're doing a little takedown and cleaning of the Beretta APX pistol. Um, this uh, cleaning video should apply to all the different models in the APX line. Uh, again, this won't be a complete disassembly, but just enough to get you feel stripped and clean before you head out to the range. Uh, first things first, I just want to send a little shout out to my buddy Matt, who loaned this pistol to me this morning. And uh, without him loaning me this firearm, this video would not be possible. And, uh, you know, the more I look at this pistol, the, the more interesting it seems and the more interested I am in it. And as of May of 2020, I'm seeing these advertised for like 330 bucks. So I got a feeling that this is going to be a good first time pistol for a lot of people. Uh, and also just uh, it seems like a good deal in general. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So basic supplies for cleaning this pistol. It's very simple. Get yourself your favorite cleaner. Uh, I just like to use Safari Land Break Free CLP. You can use Rem Oil if you want to. Whatever you use, Ballastol, doesn't really matter. Just get yourself a good cleaner. I'd recommend staying away from WD-40 if possible. Uh, some cleaning brushes. You can also use some old toothbrushes if you want to, it saves a little bit of money. Uh, a cleaning rod, or you can use a simple cleaning kit if you want to, like a single piece cleaning kit, chambered in nine millimeter, or I'm just gonna be using a bore snake to clean out the bore for this pistol. Uh, some Q-tips, some cotton patches, and as always, since it's a Monday morning, a nice steaming hot cup of uh, Black Rifle Coffee Company coffee. And this morning we got some Just Black Blend. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here. The first thing you wanna do is ensure that the firearm is in fact unloaded. So go ahead and press your button to detach the magazine. <clears throat> check the magazine out. Now we're gonna wipe the magazine off. We're not gonna do any disassembly of it, but it's not too difficult to do so. And uh, again, you just wanna ensure that these are clean, but you don't wanna leave any oil on them when you're done cleaning them. Go ahead and pull back on the slide and push up on your slide stop. Check the chamber, make sure that it is empty. And it is in fact empty. And we will go on to our next step. Okay, there can be a little bit of finishing grease from the factory on these magazines. So just go ahead and give them a little wipe off with some CLP on a patch. And uh, the main thing is you want to keep the firearm oil away from the primers, away from your ammunition, especially if you're using like a long-term storage, like a self-defense round, or you don't plan on shooting it that often. And just go ahead and wipe off with a dry patch when you get done. Okay, one more time, verify that the chamber is empty, and it is. And what you want to do to uh, get the slide off the top, it's pretty simple. Just go ahead and release the slide, okay? Now, there's a little button on the side here that you want to press. This is almost kind of like a Beretta 92 series takedown. It's a little bit different, but about the same. So you want to press in on that button so the lever starts to pop out on the side. Maybe you can see it come out there on the side. And you want to pull down on the lever. Now, the key here is that you're going to have to hold down on the lever while you pull the trigger, and that's going to cause the slide to come off. So let's go ahead and pull the trigger. There we go. Slide comes right off. Reassembly is going to be very similar. Okay, so let's go ahead and start off just by simply wiping down the frame, and I'll give you some tips and pointers. Uh, it's really not going to be that difficult. Okay, so again, you don't want excess oil on this pistol. I always say this in my videos, although it seems like I leave a lot of oil on the guns. I always go back over with a dry patch and wipe off any, any residue and so on. I like to start at the front where the dust cover is, where your rail is. Just go ahead and wipe that off. You do get some buildup down here from, from powder coming out of the barrel. Just go ahead and move down the channel with your finger. Wipe it off all the way around. Definitely get these uh, rails wiped down good. Now my buddy said he put almost 200 rounds through it, so this is gonna give us an idea as to what kind of filth, I guess you could say, you're gonna find in that barrel after 200 rounds or inside the frame. And uh, you know, you're gonna find after you give it a good clean the first time, it does clean much easier. Uh, subsequent times, because you've got a little layer of oil on there that's gonna help keep things lubricated and, and protected and, and ready to be cleaned for the next time. You want to get this area down here too. Make sure you scrub it out good with your patch. Now, here's something that I like to do. Go ahead and grab yourself your, your cotton patch and again, a little bit of CLP on there. I'm going to say that about a million times in this video, by the way. I like to put it on a cleaning rod and you want to put this in the magazine well. The reason why is because if you daily carry this gun or if you duty carry it or if you take it to the range a lot, uh, you're going to find that you're going to get some buildup inside the magazine well. So go ahead and scrub that out. Okay. Go down from the bottom if you want to. Really give it a good scrub. Now you're gonna have gun oil all over the inside of the magazine well. So as you can see, we've got uh, a little bit of carbon buildup on there, a little bit of dirt and dust. Eh, it's not too bad, I've seen worse. And then you wanna run a dry patch through it again. Now, if you don't wanna buy these patches, you can just use a cut up cotton t-shirt. And I do find that's a cheaper alternative if you've got some old white cotton t-shirts sitting around that you're not using. <clears throat> just cut them into like little, you know, two inch squares or whatever. Okay, let's scrub that out. There we go. Okay, got that all taken care of. All right, now the next thing you want to do is put a little bit of 
CLP on a Q-tip. Okay, now we're going to go in there and clean out the inside of the frame and so on. Just go ahead and, and wipe out the inside around the area behind the trigger. It's really dark in here. I do apologize. You're not going to be able to see it very well, but I can just kind of guide you along here and you're going to see that you're going to get a lot of buildup in there too. You also want to wipe off this rear area. Okay, make sure you get that all taken care of. Now again, any metal part that has any kind of movement on it, that's definitely something that you're going to want to leave a small amount of lubrication on. So I'll point out those points to you here in just a sec. Really get in there and scrub it out. You can see we've got a big build up there. That, this happens on a lot of these polymer frame guns I've noticed. Okay, go ahead and wipe everything off with a dry patch. There we go. Okay, no problems there. Give it a good scrub. I also like to push up on the slide stop and kind of rub around that area too on the inside of the frame because you've got some moving metal parts that do get a buildup underneath them also. Okay, no problems there. All right, now go ahead and take one more Q-tip with just a dab of your gun oil on it. And go ahead and lubricate this front portion right here where you see these springs and this bar. Okay, get that in the light there for you a little bit better. And then also your extractor back here. Okay, got that all taken care of. Also the rear, just go and wipe it off with a little bit of oil. Now what I like to do is run a little bit of oil down these channels where your rails are. Okay, you definitely want to do that because you're going to get a buildup down here also. And this is a part that you want to leave, I could say nice and lubricated, but just not, you know, dripping wet. <clears throat> and that's um, mainly because this is a contact point where your frame and your slide are going to come together. And you want to make sure you get that clean. Okay, get that nice little scrub. There you go. Go and wipe that off the top there. Okay, hopefully you guys can see this okay. It's always awkward doing this from behind the camera. It's always easier to do when the camera's turned off. Okay, there we go. Put a little lubrication on the top of the rails. So there's going to be a little bit of excess oil on here. You can wipe this down with a dry patch if you want to, but definitely make sure you leave some lubrication on those rails and uh, you'll be okay for those contact points. Okay, go ahead and set the frame off to the side and we'll go ahead and move on to the slide now. All right, so what we're gonna do is go ahead and remove the uh, guide rod and the recoil spring. It's a pretty simple process. All you gotta do is just pull up and it comes out. Now this is a captive guide rod and spring, which means it's not gonna shoot off at you as soon as you take it out of the slide. Again, process, a little bit of oil on some patches. And then you wanna go ahead and wipe this off and you're gonna wanna wipe off any excess with a dry patch. The smaller end is gonna be pointing out towards the front of the firearm. This thicker end is gonna be going back in and locking back into the uh, lug of the barrel when we reassemble. All right, let's go ahead and remove the barrel. Now at this point, the barrel is pretty dirty because of all the rounds that were put through it. So we're gonna go ahead and just wipe off uh, the barrel. Just give it a general wipe down, a little bit of oil on your, on your patch again to kind of get things started. Now we're gonna come back to this and really give it a good cleaning here shortly. Now what I like to do is just go ahead and put a little bit of gun lubricant down the rear of the barrel. And we're going to let that barrel marinate for a while, and that's going to break up all that uh, carbon deposits that's in there, all that fouling. Okay, so you want to have a couple Q-tips on standby. We've got a few channels we need to clean out here. Now, this pistol does have an exceptionally deep channel on the right side. Just go ahead and run your Q-tip down there <clears throat> with some oil on it. And then you want to put a dry Q-tip down there. There's still going to be some oil down there, just again, that protective coating, but no excess, right? Now, you've got a series of just channels and uh, narrow areas here that you can just run a Q-tip down with some oil. Go ahead and scrub that out a little bit. Want to stay out of the area where the striker is. We're not going to be taking the striker or the spring out in this video. Now, I do have some oil on the Q-tip. This area right here where the firing pin is, I like to hold it down and then just kind of put a little oil over the front of it. You obviously don't want to get it in that hole where the uh, firing pin is, but you can see how much carbon comes off of there. Very dirty, okay? And then just go ahead and wipe that off <clears throat> with a patch. Now you can repeat this process several times. You can scrub it down with a brush if you want to, but you're going to be amazed at how much stuff is going to come off on there. There you go. See? But uh, you want to keep any kind of particles from going down there where the firing pin is. Okay. Or strikers, I like to call it. You might have a little bit of a buildup behind your extractor, which is that little claw that you see right there. Okay, you want to make sure that that's clean too. So you want to wipe out behind there with your cleaning patch. Okay, now let's just go ahead and put some cleaning oil on a patch and wipe out the inside of the slide. There you go. Make sure you get around this area too where the rounds come out of the top of the slide. Just wipe it all off. Seems very durable. Seems like a very well-built pistol in general. Make sure you get in the end here where your barrel goes. 
that cleaned out. Okay, and then also right here on this end, get this cleaned out where the guide rod's gonna go. Both sides, and you do get a buildup down there too, as you can see. All right, not bad. So now there's still plenty of oil inside the slide, so just go ahead and wipe it out with a, uh, a dry patch, and you're still gonna see that it's gonna leave a thin protective coating in there, like I said before, which is really all you need. If you wanna put maybe some REM oil in there so you have a thinner coating, you can do that too but I just like to wipe it off and uh, we're all set there. Uh, you can also dry out the tracks if you want to with a dry Q-tip, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave it so it has a little bit more lubrication on it since we're still breaking in this pistol. Okay, now we'll go ahead and move on to the barrel. Now again, for the barrel, we're just gonna give it a little wipe down one more time with some CLP on the outside. And this is where you're gonna wanna have your cleaning brushes on standby. So go ahead and just wipe off the barrel. You are gonna get a bit of a buildup right here around the edges, so make sure you get your fingernail in there and scrub that out. Okay, in this portion right here. Also, the feeding ramp is gonna get pretty dirty. This top notch is gonna get very dirty. You start to get buildup on there. Make sure you get this little lug down here cleaned out also. So just go ahead and floss it. There we go. That cleaned out, okay. Now I like to go ahead and take a brush, dab oil on the brush, okay. And just go ahead and scrub, scrub this area down. We're gonna get the entire barrel cleaned out anyway, so it doesn't really matter. There we go. Okay, got that all taken care of. And then just go ahead and wipe that down with a clean patch, the whole thing. And we're gonna go ahead and get this barrel cleaned out here in just a sec. Okay, it does have a <clears throat> semi-polished or slightly polished uh, feeding ramp, which looks really nice. That's one way to tell that you gotta clean is it's gonna be nice and shiny again. Okay, there we go. So after, you know, just 200 rounds, the, uh, the barrel and the finish seem to be holding up really well, especially at the top. There's not a lot of wear on here, so you can tell that Again, it does have a nice coating on that barrel. Uh, now, when it comes to your boar snake, there's a lot of ways you can do this. You can just put a bristle brush on your cleaning rod and go from the rear to the front, take it off and repeat. I'm gonna be taking my boar snake, put a little bit of oil towards the back of the bristles. Now, there is already lubricant down the barrel. You wanna make sure there's something down the barrel before you run the bristle brush down it. You can always run a patch down it if you want to on a cleaning rod, or just shoot some cleaner down there if you want to. Whatever you wanna do is fine. So what I do for this is I'm going to attach this little cable on this uh, bristle. I'm gonna do this probably two or three times and then if we can see the uh, rifling inside the barrel, we know that we're all set to go, okay? And just go ahead and run that through the front. Now some of you might just have a boar snake that just has like a little rope that goes through with the weight on the end. Those are perfectly fine to use too, not a problem. Okay, go ahead and just pull it through. Might take a little bit of force to do so. There we go, no problems there. Okay, now I'm gonna do this two more times off camera. You do the same, and then after that, we should have a nice clean bore. Now, I'm not sure how good this is gonna show up on camera, but we do have a nice clean bore. You can see the rifling down there. It's nice and shiny. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, commence with our reassembly. It's very simple. Uh, again, you just wanna make sure that you have a very light coating of oil on the barrel all the way around. Okay, so just go ahead and wipe it down one last time. Okay, there we go. Make sure you get in here, make sure you have some lubrication in this little lug right here. Very important too. There we go. Okay, uh, just go ahead and set your barrel back into your slide. Now the reassembly part is pretty simple because this is only going to fit one way. It's only going to work one way. So the little tiny nub that you have right here, you want to put this in the end. And then just go ahead and compress the guide rod and the recoil spring. It's going to pop right into the lowest notch before it hits the angle. Let me see if I can get a zoom in of you for that for you there. There you go, you can see that. So you want that guide rod to be flat. You don't want any kind of an angle upward or downward. It should lock right into the slide. There's kind of a little cutout right here in the lower part of the barrel for this to sit in and lock into place. All right. Okay, so reassembly is just as, as, just as simple as disassembly. So all you wanna do is go ahead and take that slide and put it back on the frame and go ahead and pull the two together. Okay, and while you're pulling back on it, you want to push up on this takedown lever right here. There you go. Okay, it's all set to go. Okay, if you wanna go ahead and put a magazine in there that's empty, go ahead and cock it back, make sure that it's going to lock back into place. We did a proper reassembly. Okay, go ahead and release the slide and feel free to dry fire it. Got a very short trigger pull on this pistol. And uh, just go ahead and wipe off any excess oil that you might have on the firearm with the dry patch and you are basically good to go.
really neat. All right, guys, so that's it. I want to thank you for joining us today. Thank you for watching. And if you got this pistol, I think you're going to be sitting good. Uh, it should probably, it will, it should, it will probably end up on the channel in the testing video at some point in the near future, too. We're definitely going to shoot this one. Uh, but, guys, if you like what you see, please like or subscribe. And you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I'm also over on GunStreamer, YouTube, and GunTube.org. Uh, but in the meantime, make sure you check out my podcast called Caliber Corner, which is Monday nights, or I'm sorry, Monday evenings, around 6 o'clock Central Time. 7 o'clock East Coast time where we just talk guns and ammo over there on YouTube. It's on my YouTube channel, Travis P11. And the last thing, if you want to be a Patreon supporter, there's a lot of perks that you get. It's uh, $1 per month to do so. Go over to patreon.com backslash Travis P11. You will get an official Travis P11 sticker if you join, become a patron of mine. I also have a monthly drawing where I give away all kinds of cool items and gifts. And uh, we also put the videos up on Patreon first and have some Patreon exclusives. So that's one little reward you get for supporting the channel. So in the meantime, I want you guys to have fun. I want you to be safe, get out and do some shooting. And as you know, we will talk to you soon. All right, take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.